Hi, this is Tom from ZeroToFinals.com. In this video, I'm going to be going through non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. And you can find written notes on this topic at ZeroToFinals.com slash N-A-F-L-D or in the gastroenterology section of the Zero to Finals medicine book. And you can find flashcards and questions to train your knowledge and help you remember the information longer at members.zerodefinals.com. So let's jump straight in. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, abbreviated to NAFLD, is characterized by excessive fat in the liver cells, specifically triglycerides. These fat deposits interfere with the functioning of liver cells. The early stages of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease can be asymptomatic. However, it can progress to hepatitis and liver cirrhosis. Around 25% of adults are estimated to have non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, so it's very common. Let's talk about the stages. The stages of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease in order are non-alcoholic fatty liver, this is followed by non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, or NASH, which is followed by fibrosis, and finally cirrhosis. Let's talk about the risk factors. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease shares the same risk factors as cardiovascular disease and diabetes. And this includes being middle-aged or older, obesity, a poor diet and low activity levels, type 2 diabetes, raised cholesterol, raised blood pressure and smoking. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is associated with metabolic syndrome, which is a combination of hypertension or high blood pressure, obesity and diabetes. Metabolic syndrome is very common and dramatically increases the risk of cardiovascular disease and a number of other health problems. Let's talk about the investigations. A raised alanine aminotransferase, or ALT, on the liver function blood tests is often the first indication that a patient has non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. A liver ultrasound scan can be used to confirm the diagnosis of hepatic steatosis, or a fatty liver, and this is seen as increased echogenicity. Ultrasound does not indicate the severity the function of the liver or the presence of fibrosis and an ultrasound scan can actually be normal in non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. The enhanced liver fibrosis or ELF blood test is the first line investigation for assessing fibrosis in non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. It measures three markers and uses an algorithm to provide a result that indicates whether they have advanced fibrosis of the liver. A result of 10.51 or above indicates advanced fibrosis and a result under 10.51 indicates unlikely advanced fibrosis and the NICE guidelines recommend rechecking every three years in non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. The non-alcoholic fatty liver disease fibrosis score or NFS is another option for assessing for liver fibrosis in these patients. It's based on an algorithm of age, BMI, liver enzymes including AST and ALT, platelet count, albumin and diabetes. Another option for assessing for liver fibrosis is the fibrosis 4 or FIB4 score. This is based on an algorithm that takes into account age, liver enzymes, specifically AST and ALT, and the platelet count. Transient elastography, or a fibroscan, can be used to assess the stiffness of the liver using high-frequency sound waves. This helps determine the degree of fibrosis, or scarring, 
to test for liver cirrhosis. This is used in patients with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease where the enhanced liver fibrosis or the ELF test indicates advanced fibrosis. A liver biopsy may be required to confirm the diagnosis and exclude other causes of liver disease. A Tom tip for you, both the NFS and the FIB4 scores use the AST to ALT ratio to assess the severity of liver fibrosis. The normal AST to ALT ratio is less than 1, a ratio greater than 0.8 in non-alcoholic fatty liver disease suggests advanced fibrosis. An AST to ALT ratio greater than 1.5, meaning a disproportionately high AST compared to ALT, indicates alcohol-related liver disease rather than non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Next, let's talk about diagnosis. The diagnosis requires the presence of ultrasound scan findings of a fatty liver, risk factors, and excluding other causes of liver disease with a careful alcohol history and a full non-invasive liver screen. A liver biopsy is the gold standard test, but is not usually required. Finally, let's talk about management. Management involves weight loss, a healthy diet, and the Mediterranean diet is recommended, exercise, avoiding or limiting alcohol intake, stopping smoking, controlling diabetes, blood pressure, and cholesterol, referring patients where scoring tests indicate liver fibrosis to a liver specialist, and specialist management could include vitamin E pyoglitazone, bariatric surgery, and potentially liver transplantation. Research has consistently shown that testing yourself after learning a topic has a powerful effect on how long you retain that information. This is known as the testing effect. Studying and then testing yourself results in longer lasting and stronger recall on that information when tested at a later date even when compared with additional study sessions. If you're preparing for a medical exam and you're not regularly testing your knowledge and practicing your recall, you're failing to maximise your potential. The Zero to Finals member site contains flashcards, short answer questions, multiple choice questions and extended matching questions that are purpose-built to supplement the Zero to Finals content, helping you build your internal database of knowledge and take advantage of the powerful testing effect. If you like the Zero to Finals notes, books, videos and podcasts, then you'll love the member's site.